हेलो एंड नमस्कार नाइस टू सी यू ऑल अगेन एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर एंथुजियास्टिक फीडबैक ऑन आवर लास्ट वेबिनार एज वी वर टॉकिंग ऑन ओजस इन द लास्ट वेबिनार दिस टाइम वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ अ रजीम फॉर हेल्दी एंड रेडियंट स्किन ओजस लाइक डॉक्टर सौरभ एक्सप्लेन हैज समथिंग टू डू विद द ग्लो or the aura the radiance and now we continue with a radiance skin regime so i hope you have all subscribed to our channel and you are ringing the notification bell so now we will start with our discussion with our expert dr saurabh sharma so doctor today we will be talking about how to have a glowing radiance skin like you do <laughs> and so, in in this i would say like we all do yeah we all hope to do uh, dr rich i am <laughs> a little more specific because i think it's already at least 10 webinars at yes. least and in these 10 webinars we have been speaking simply about following the laws of nature mm mm-hmm. and if our viewers are really watching and understanding our webinars yeah it means they are following the laws of nature yes then for sure they have the radiant skin <laughs> <laughs> yes anyways yeah coming to the topic healthy and radiant skin that's a very good topic mm-hmm. i hope uh, everybody would uh, love to hear what we will speak yeah so everyone wants a good skin radiant skin now what is a good skin or a radiant skin first of all let's understand the importance of skin hmm. for some people skin is a part of beauty huh? it uh, you look very good you have white skin or dark skin or brown skin but basically your skin is the first line of defense hmm. so this this is our soldier we have to keep take care of our soldier yeah so any kind of bacteria allergen virus attacking our body the skin prevents fights no no entry so it's very important that we take care of our soldier our skin yeah not just by looking at it that it looks good <laughs> but giving nutrition to it giving health to it giving nourishment to it so it's very important and in ayurveda it is a little deep but there are six layers of skin i won't take the names but one by one these are six layers and then after your muscles and the asti dhatu and other dhatus are formed inside so the first layer itself of bhasini is the strongest one mm-hmm. which we have to be very cautious of taking care in terms of good health so today we will be speaking about healthy and radiant skin so healthy and radiant skin is what the one which has proper viscousness not dry not too oily but dr recha mm-hmm. here i would like to mention that as per vata pitta kapha dosha types the body constitutions your skin is also like that for vata people it is usually dry for pitta people it's dry and viscous both for kapha people it's too oily so here we have to give nourishment as per your body types as per the dosha yeah so doctor um uh, i have read that in ayurveda mm-hmm. skin although it is an external organ it yeah. covers all of our frame but it the skin health is greatly related to liver and the hormonal function the endocrine um, yeah. system exactly dr acha so skin is basically the manifestation of pitta in your body mm-hmm. hmm? and what is the seat of pitta i hope everyone remembers it's your liver area liver uh-huh. and duodenal area so any kind of please understand this it's very important if any kind of imbalance is there with your liver or with your agni it will straight away manifest on your skin 
Mm-hmm. You will not believe, but in my treatment protocols, when I see my patients, if somebody has a skin problem, I never give something to apply on the skin because I know this is the fifth, fifth, there are six stages of diseases, right? For manifestation, there are six stages according to Ayurveda philosophy. So this is fourth or fifth stage of the manifestation of any imbalance with the liver. Oh, okay. So it's very important to keep your skin healthy, radiant, glowing and strong. You need to work on your digestion. You need to work on your liver. Proper liver cleansing, mm. proper detoxification of the liver and proper nourishment of the liver. So first you detoxify and clean your liver time to time. Then you give nourishment to your liver, strength to your liver will bring you radiant skin. Mm-hmm. So liver is the key towards your perfect skin actually. That is good to know that skin is a manifestation of pitta. I yes, always yes. thought that it is related to kapha. No, 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 it's pitta. Okay. So one of the pitta which is brajak pitta. It's a little deep but there are five types of pitta dosha. So the brajak pitta is basically the manifestation on the skin of pitta. Mm-hmm. But doctor, uh, as a general observation, I think kapha type people have quite a nice skin. Yes, they are. They have very nice skin, bit oily, bit viscous. So that's very good skin actually. But they are also tend to get any kind of uh, skin allergies and infections very soon. Mm-hmm. Because simply speaking, if somebody would have a oily skin, then the bacteria or allergen would stick mm-hmm. to that skin more uh, prominently. So one of my friend a uh, few days back suggested about rinse washing the face many times in a day mm-hmm. especially to the kapha people with warm water so if you wash your face few times in a day then the probability of getting any kind of skin infection or allergies or something on the face is minimized yeah so that's really good yeah and uh, can you tell us something about the daily regime for the skin the daily cleansing yes regime? yes it's very important as i said we love our body mm-hmm. and skin is the largest organ of our body. Huh? It is organ basically. So we have to take care of the skin also. Yeah. Not just by thinking, not just by, sorry, I will not use the word cosmetics or putting anything artificial. Just, you remember our webinar on uh, self abhyanga We spoke about loving and pampering. <laughs> huh? so self abhyanga is an integral part of your daily routine very important not just for cleansing the strotas and channels only but giving strength to your skin giving luster, giving toning giving love to your skin because the oil which you use for your self abhyanga every day in the morning is for the joints giving strength to the joints which we speak spoke in the last webinar and also basically for skin Mm -hmm. so that basically uh, lubricates the toxins in the skin and makes them flow through the channels comes to the abdomen and detoxification Mm -hmm. so it gives not only luster and viscosity but also strength to your uh, first line of defense Uh so self abhyanga very important and in india Everyday bathing in the morning is the most important part of your daily routine. Yeah. So a nice warm bathing in the morning detoxifies the body, takes any kind of superficial toxins which have been accumulated out from the body as well. Yeah. So bathing and self-abhyanga, most, most, most important part of your daily routine. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, then I would like to ask you about some diet something uh, some foods which help the skin before food again my favorite word (laughs) agni (laughs) important is how is your digestion but take care as i said you have different body constitution you have different uh, digestive fire 
so take care of your digestive fire make it optimum eat on time eat good combination of food dr acha very important point never mix sweet and salty together in ayurveda we say taking salt and sweet together is directly proportional to skin disorder simple if you take milk with some salty dish for sure it's going to sooner or later manifest in terms of any skin disorder mm -hmm. never do that never do that so speaking about the food mm -hmm. it's very important to have good warm food especially the nutritional support in terms of for taking vitamin c mm -hmm. all kind of vitamin c uh, like citrus fruits and all they are very good for your skin all green leafy vegetables hmm? Hmm. all green leafy vegetables they are very good uh, supplement for minerals and vitamins in our body they also bring good strength and luster to your skin also so food and is an integral part for sure yeah and also uh, that some good fats like yes ghee yeah ghee <laughs> ghee is the best medium also mm -hmm. dr acha we always say in ayurveda we say ghratam pitta nilharam it means ghee ghee the clarified butter balances pitta and vata as i said skin is manifestation of pitta and the most common problem which quite some people face is the dryness of the skin you touch them and you will see mm. oh a lot of dryness so it's pitta and vata imbalance manifests on the skin so if you take proper lubricants uh, like uh, ghee or uh, uh milk cream sometimes even the oils also so they form proper lubrication these viscous mm -hmm. stuff and they give very good luster and uh, lubrication to the skin also so ghee is definitely internally taking the ghee manifestation on the good uh, quality of skin mm. it's very direct and clear yeah can you tell us a little bit about how much ghee is good because uh, it's a fat and people wouldn't like to take a lot of it but how much is recommended uh, for <laughs> <laughs> a good skin okay that's a very good question <laughs> tell me your prakriti is first <laughs> <laughs> but so, doctor yeah, ghee yeah, is okay, uh, okay. no no but uh, what uh, ghee is supposed to increase the digestive fire it as does, well it does it does it does it does but you know these days uh, Doctor Richa, I see a lot of people intolerant to many things. Mm -hmm. Now here, this intolerance I would correlate to ojas. Mm -hmm. I will answer this question first, but just one thing: people come to me with a lot of problems. Oh, I am lactose intolerance. Yeah. I am gluten intolerant, and I always say there is nothing called intolerance in Ayurveda. It's all your ojas. If mm -hmm. you have a good ojas, good agni, there is nothing like this, mm -hmm. and. in such kind of people my line of treatment or action goes like this increasing the digestive fire increasing the ojas and then i suggest them now start taking it and everything goes back to normal uh -huh. but yes coming back to the topic he in optimum quality, quantity i would say 10 to 15 ml is enough in a day it's it's more than enough rather mm -hmm. it's more than enough it's more than enough for anybody mm -hmm. so give strength as dr richa said <laughs> increases the digestion balances the appetite and one more thing dr richa you would also see people who suffer often from constipation they have dry skin uh huh often so if these people have good digestive fire and they take ghee in optimum quantity and quality good quality also it's mm -hmm. very important then organic maybe. exactly then it helps in proper lubrication of the toxins helps in expulsion of the toxins and when this vata here is balanced and proper lubrication is there then the skin also is uh, very smooth and lustrous so yeah. vata balance here affects on the balanced skin also mm -hmm. both the ways very so. nice so now lastly i would just like to let our audience know that we have a new range of natural cosmetics in our portfolio and they are made with purest of ingredients they are cosmo certified which means that they only have the permitted ingredients 
by the Cosmos standard, which is one of the highest standard of cosmetics in Europe. And also they have precious ingredients like the Himalayan natural water. That's that's really great. That's the purest. Many beautiful, wonderful herbs. And I'm sure they will be very useful for our audience. And they are in um, different you know, according to different doshas, like pitta cream, kapha, oh, sorry, pitta cream, vata cream, the skin toner, like that. And um, it is also nice to use them as a mask. And, you know, putting it on the face for some time, leaving it there to take for the skin to take in the hydration. And while doing this, they can put on some nice Gandharva music, soothing music, along with some aroma oil in the diffuser, mm -hmm. relax, feel good. Like you say, pamper your skin. Yes, it's very important. Yeah, and I'm sure it'll work. <laughs> yes, definitely. A simple message. Love your soul, love your body, and love your skin. The more love you pass on to your body, the more blissful you will be, the more ojas you will form, and the more healthier you will have your life as well. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, doctor. We will end today's session with that. And please remember to subscribe our channel and ring the notification bell. See you all next time. Thank you. Namaskar. Goodbye.